Today's video is sponsored by Huel. Huel, human plus fuel, is a nutritionally complete food. This means that every Huel meal contains a balance of 26 essential vitamins and minerals, protein, essential fats, carbs, fiber, and phytonutrients in a single product. Huel is made from plant-based sustainable ingredients like oats, pea, rice, flaxseed, coconut, and sunflower, so it is 100% vegan. Huel is available in a range of six delicious products. Powder, Black Edition, Complete Protein, Hot and Savory, Ready to Drink, and Bars. Now Huel isn't just for gym junkies or bodybuilders. Huel has been developed for those time pressured meals when you're on the go, in a rush, and away from the kitchen. Typically this means breakfast or lunch during the working week, leaving you room to enjoy a more traditional meal with family and friends in the evening or at the weekend. Plus, Huel has a naturally long shelf life, which means zero food waste, and it uses minimal packaging which helps to reduce waste further. Huel Hot and Savory is a hot, tasty, plant-based instant meal that gives your body all the good stuff it needs to thrive. It is a carefully curated blend of real whole food ingredients and is packed with 26 essential vitamins, protein, carbs, fats and fiber. Simply add boiling water and you're good to go in under 5 minutes. Just think of it as fast food that's good for you. Huel Ready to Drink is a delicious, complete and affordable meal in a handy bottle. Available in 4 delicious flavours, chocolate, berry, vanilla and banana. So today I am going to be taking you behind the scenes of a typical day recording videos for my channel and how I incorporate Huel into my daily routine. It's currently about 20 to 8 and I'm really excited to get going today as I have a very exciting 19th century role play all set up and ready to go um, and it's one of those ones that I've had planned for absolutely ages and I haven't got round to filming it yet so uh, I'm really excited to get going with that. It's an absolutely beautiful morning and it's such a shame that I'm going to be locked up in a dark room today but I'm going to try and come out and sit out here and eat my lunch today just to kind of maximize my fresh air time because <laughs> sometimes it gets a little bit claustrophobic and stuffy being stuck in that room all day for hours on end so it's always good to try and get some fresh air when you can. <laughs> I'm still kind of working my way through my breakfast, <laughs> my fuel, berry flavor drink and I'm going to be snacking on this whilst I am setting up, well finalizing my setup um, and probably throughout the day as well because I can't drink it in one sitting and I feel like uh, it's better sipped over um, you know a course of a couple of hours or you know the morning or something like that for me anyway because uh, I don't like to sort of sit down and and eat a big meal in sort of one go especially in the morning I like to have these really convenient easy just sip as you go <laughs> sort of uh, solutions. Um, I know a lot of people say you need to like sit down and take your time and, and eat and you know be mindful and stuff like that and I try and do that but on the days in which I'm filming I desperately need something like that because uh, 
I only have a certain window that I can film um, and I only have a certain amount of hours that I can film as well so I need something convenient and easy and tasty as well. So let's go and get started. This is the setup that I set up. Oh my gosh, it must be like two or three weeks ago um, that I just really haven't got around to filming with it yet. So I'm really excited to just like crack on with it today. It's going to be like a Florence Nightingale cares for you sort of role play and it actually looks really rubbish right now. So I'm going to just turn on the lights and show you what it looks like properly. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all the lights on. Again, this uh, phone doesn't really translate it too well. It looks a lot better on the camera. But if I walk you around, we have a little feature light here. Because I'm going to be sitting here. So this light is going to be my main source of light for my face without being too... Uh, overpowering or too blown out because I really wanted to emphasize the kind of believability of this role play without making it look too uh, lit, if you know what I mean. This is the uh, firelight or the lamp light coming from like behind the screen here to give it that kind of flickering effect that you can see. This light over here is like to indicate there's like space or um, light coming from behind this screen and there's like other people behind here um, you know to indicate there's like a larger room behind here up here is like a backlight which um, I wanted to indicate like moonlight coming through um, and like lighting the back of my head um, here and here um, I wanted to indicate like um, really rough and ready um, put together um, hospital like on, on a field hospital like in war so I just put up these like sheets you can see it's got like candle wax on it or I spilled some um, so I wanted to just put up these like what it looks like temporary sheets and then I'll like go through them and you can see that that's where my camera will be and what you see this way is this sort of little makeshift area here which obviously the lamp is there what uh, Florence Nightingale video wouldn't be complete without a lamp right <laughs> a couple of candles which I'll light um, in the video um, a little, like, uh, tray and bowl here, a tray just to prop up these props so you can see them in the shot because, uh, the angle's quite low so you can't really see them. You've got, like, a little cup and saucer and some books and a little chamber pop down there which you won't be able to see in the video but hopefully I can incorporate it somehow in a tasteful way of course. You've got like the soldier's shirt hanging up here and like a old medical clipboard just to show the patients medical charts and medical uh, what's wrong with him and stuff. And I think in this video it will be a head wound but I'm not too sure yet. So what I do now once I'm kind of happy with the setup um, and how it all looks, um, I will do some rehearsals with the uh, script. Well, it's not really a script, but it's more like a outline of things that I want to see um, in the video um, with a couple of lines of dialogue, um, which I will have on my iPad just of, out of shot <laughs> so uh, I can just quickly refer to it if I get lost or stuck so I will run through that script uh, without costume on a couple of times until I am confident that I know what I'm doing and I know kind of like the structure of the video um, then once I'm kind of 
happy with that I will get into costume and then I will start recording. So costume is on, I've made a few tweaks to it, I've actually uh, kept on my clothes <laughs> underneath so the polo neck that you uh, see it actually matches this apron here and it kind of looks quite cool or you know authentic I don't know and it's gonna keep me warm because I can't have the heater on whilst I am recording because it makes like a buzzing sound and it gets super cold in here especially now when the weather's starting to turn a little bit colder this little thing here I've added because there's a really horrible like circle dot thing here which doesn't look very nice so I've added like a little brooch thing there apron that goes down to the floor you won't see my bottom half well that much anyway so I've kept my trousers on <laughs> just to uh, keep me a little bit warm and comfortable um, and what else oh yeah my I must take off my watch, of course, because they didn't have uh, Apple Watches back in the 19th century. So uh, I'll take that off. And yeah, I think we are almost ready to go. So stupidly, I forgot to turn my time lapse on <laughs> when I was actually recording. So here is a little blooper of me nearly setting the studio alight. The main bulk of the video is done. There were a lot of sound interruptions. We had a barking dog. We had yoga come in next door. We've had strange random creatures running across the roof, which was quite scary, and people running past outside. So it's been quite a noisy day today. So now I am going to be doing some cutaways. Um, of like close-ups of things that I was interacting with in the video and also to sort of blend those sound interruptions a little bit better um, but first I am absolutely starving <laughs> so I am going to make myself some lunch so for lunch today I am going to be having the nutritionally complete mac and cheese from Huel. I don't have any facilities. I don't have a bathroom. I don't have a sink. I don't have a microwave. All I have is a kettle. So I have to be really inventive with my lunch choices and this provides me with not only a tasty meal but own but also a nutritionally complete one as well so if we look on the back this is mac and cheese all you have to do is give the pouch a good shake put a scoop into your bowl and then add boiling hot water depending on your preference stir, cover, and then enjoy. So this is really good for me because obviously when I am recording all day, I get really, really hungry. And sometimes, you know, sandwiches and salads don't cut it. <laughs> and there's no way that I can refrigerate stuff. So if I bring a salad, it kind of goes all warm and soggy by the end of the day and it's really not pleasant so I really like these instant hot meals because they're just really really convenient really tasty and they are super easy to prepare using my limited resources here at the studio I've put the amount that I want in my mug and now we're going to pour the desired amount of water in.
Now the fun part. When I finish recording um, like the main bulk of the video, I will then go back and make a list of all the cutaways that I need to record based on what I can remember that I need. Um, so for instance, like picking things up, putting things down, um, like close-ups of certain things. This sort of helps give like dimension to the video as well as like covering up any sound issues that there might be. So I think I managed to get all the cutaways that I needed. Only time will tell when I get the video into the edit. But fingers crossed I haven't missed anything. But worst thing, I can come back and do the like emergency cutaways if I need to. I'm gonna keep the set as it is and go home tonight, see how the footage turned out, and then maybe tomorrow morning, early, early in the morning, I can come and do some some bits that I missed. But fingers crossed I've got everything. And now we need to tidy up. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much to our sponsor Huel for sponsoring this video today. Links to Huel are as always in the description and here is a little sneak peek of the Florence Nightingale roleplay which will be uploaded next week. Enjoy! Tell me soldier, what is your name?